Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Lena, an actress. I was never a smart student when I was in school. I didn't really like to study. I don't know why, but studying was just not my thing. I believe that everyone is born with different talents, and I know I wasn't really good in academics. However, that doesn't mean you should stop studying now or not as well. You are already here, so please do your best and complete your study. God, if you believe in Him, will always give us different talents and interests. I always remember showing great interest in arts and music since young. The thought of dancing, singing, playing the piano made me feel alive and energized. It made everything feel good. I can clearly remember when I was four or five years old how my father used to bribe me to the school with junk food. How long did you think this bribing lasted? One day, one week. Well, the bribing lasted throughout kindergarten. Yes, for a whole three years. Now you know how much I hated going to school, and my family used to talk about the, talk about this up until today, and they never let me forget. When it was the time for me to enter into secondary school, I chose Methodist Girls Secondary School in Kuantan. Why, you may ask? Because it was the only school which had a cheerleading competition, and I loved dancing. I was selected as the captain of my sports house for the cheerleading team. It was such a proud and privileged moment for me. In class, while everyone else was focusing in their studies, I was thinking about the choreography steps, the music, and the ideas for the competition. Homework? What homework? It is fair to say I was more occupied with something more important, the cheerleading competition. We did won as the champion, and that was the first champion in my life. And I still remember how I felt until today. And here comes the university. Just like most people, or maybe you, I entered university to obtain one thing: a degree. Never did I imagine my time in university would be one of the most important chapter in my life. If you did not already know, I did my bachelor's of performing arts and music in University of Malaya. At that time, I was only grade five in piano, while other of my classmates were already in grade eight or diploma. Some of them even teaching piano lessons at the music centers. However, I never gave up just because of my lower grade. In fact, I practiced more than eight hours a day to catch up. And during those days, my classmates were the people who helped me and supported me. They taught me the way to improve my playing skills, help me with my assignments. We composed music and performed together during our music showcase. I just want to tell you: when you don't know something, don't feel left out. Just ask. If you don't ask, the answer is always no. No one is judging you as harshly you are judging yourself. So just be yourself, accept your weakness, and work hard in it. Entering and winning the pageant opened doors to many opportunities that I never thought possible. One such opportunity was acting. Making acting as a profession was never in my plan. You see, I love dancing. I love playing piano on stage, but when it came to acting, I did not feel comfortable to be someone else. However, after winning the pageant, I was asked to attend a casting for a movie. I still remember the director asked me in the casting, "Have you had any acting experience before?" I say, "No, this is my first time acting." <laughs> And to my greater surprise. I was selected as the lead role for the movie, and this is how my acting career began. I remembered I was once said to a very best friend of mine. I said to her, "I will never get myself into acting, simply because acting is just not my thing." But the funny thing is, I am an actress now. So the moral of the story is, never say never. Being selected as the lead role for the movie was not the only new experience for me, but it also my first time 
acting in front of the people with the cameras, equipment uh, surrounding me. I was very excited, but at the same time, I was very nervous. This was because I'm a shy and introvert person. I'm usually only very talkative with my close friends. However, what I learned through acting was that I did not have to be myself. I was a different person. I was the person I was portraying. And this allowed me to explore um, different characters and personalities. I also learned more of myself and my capabilities through acting. There was once I was uh, given an opportunity to play a character from a 20 years old girl to a 70 years old grandmother on a stage play. These characters were similar as they were the same person, yet they were so different in the sense of the maturity, the gesture, and how they carried out themselves due to the age. And another bigger challenge was that I had to perform in Malay. And it took me more than a month just to polish my Malay lines. I learned that if I put my heart to it, nothing is impossible. I was able to do it because I was willing to take up the challenge and push myself. Throughout the years of acting, another important lesson I learned was that making a movie was never easy. It involved teamwork and hard work. Everyone works very long hours, and every beautiful scene did not just happen magically. During a production, a movie usually spans more than 14 hours of shooting per day. As an actress, the real acting for a scene usually takes about 20 minutes, but those were 20 precious minutes for me, because that was the time I got the chance to perform myself. Although it was long and tiring, I truly enjoyed the whole movie-making process. I realized that the more time I spent on acting and improved myself, it really motivated me more and more to continue acting. The first movie I did was like a trial and error for me. I wasn't sure if I wanted to be serious about acting at that time, although I received many positive feedback. However, my second movie was a turning point for me. I somehow found myself fully immersed in the character I play. I remember this scene I was acting a few years ago. It was a scene about me saying goodbye to my lover forever. I was crying badly. As soon as we finished the scene, the director shouted cut, and I couldn't hold back my tears and continue crying. Being overwhelmed with the emotion, I had to lift the crowd. I was sitting aside just to calm myself down. I don't remember how long I cried, but it took me a long while. And through this experience, I realized that I was living in the character, and that was the experience I will never forget. We only live once, but through acting, I get to live in the life in different characters. And from this character, I, I get to feel what they feel, to see things the way they see. And they have inspired me in my real life. And it was then I realized that my passion was acting. Being able to deliver a good scene and portraying a character well is very important to me. My second movie experience brought me a sense of joy that I never had before. And it was then I decided to make acting my career. I don't think I would have been able to find the same kind of joy if I was doing something else. So far, I have shared with you all the happy parts of my story. But there were also failures and difficult moments I experienced. Um, when I first decided to go into acting, I often received concern regarding my decision. Many of them were saying, don't waste your time. Don't 
waste your education. Don't gamble on your future. You would do great by teaching music. I mean, I love music. I love teaching music. But I thought to myself at that point, is that something I want to do forever? I don't want to have any regrets in my life. And deep down, I knew I wanted to do acting. However, we have a very small film industry here in Malaysia. Everyone sees that and everyone knows that. Due to very limited acting opportunities in Malaysia and being rejected for the roles I had auditioned was very difficult for me to swallow. Being rejected once or twice did not damage my pride, but after I received many rejections, I started to doubt myself. And many times, the reason I was rejected were not told. I began to be depressed. I started to doubt my own decision. Maybe, maybe I'm not suitable to be an actress. So many questions pop up and I did not know what to do. It was truly a low point in my life, a dry season. I used to think that I shouldn't burden my friends with my troubles, but that was really wrong. I realized that the more I opened up to them, the closer the bond between us, and they were always there for me. I shared with them my rejections experience, my difficulties and my doubts. They shared with me their problems too. And that moment, I realized that I am not the only one having setbacks in life. Everyone has different problems. And from then on, I started to stop focusing on my problems and I learned to see beyond myself. Secondly, sports. I began to train in sports because I needed an outlet to let go all the frustration I was going through. When there's nothing going on in life, life becomes meaningless and we often become lazy. And this is how I began to run and cycling. Through sports, I built a good discipline in life and I also became mentally healthier. Being mentally healthy was very important to me as I was going to a tough time. And I also realized that if I do not help myself, no one can help me. So today, sports and I are good friends and I am really thankful for that. I also spend my free time on travels to explore more of the world. The more I traveled, my eyes were open to see the world was so big, and I am by like a sand. I've seen a lot of people, people who are less fortunate. They have their struggles and their own fights in life. And suddenly I feel like my troubles were not that big anymore. I started to be thankful for all the opportunities I have had uh, and all the things I could do. I am blessed to be given a lot of perspective as an actress from the roles I played. And that really made me want to work harder and improve myself as both a person and an actress. A few years ago, I watched a Broadway show in New York. It was such an eye-opener. The overall performance was so good and I knew I can't even be a prop on the stage. That really motivated me to improve myself. From then on, I started to attend, attend acting classes. I studied about acting theories. I became more observant when I was watching a show. And when I do that, I began to see my improvement. And I began to receive more offers from different projects. I am really thankful that I did not give up and give in all the negative statements I was going through when I was, uh, I was received and I was going through in the tough time. If I gave up, I wouldn't be here today sharing with you my story and I wouldn't have had all the opportunities to act in different movies. No success in the world did not come from struggles. The one did not, it's not called success, it's called luck. Which not everyone gets to have it. Certainly not every time. Trust the process. Be positive 
And before you know it, you're already enjoying the greatest success, which is the process of acquiring it. My advice to you, go after your dream. Go after what you want to do in life. This is the thing. When you're 80 years old, don't look back and be like, oh, I could have done this, I could have done that. Because in the end, we only regret the chances we didn't take. I myself did not come from a very privileged and wealthy family. I did not have connection. I started from the ground up. If you're passionate about something, you will need to make tough decisions when the time comes. Sometimes, family and friends may not even support you. But if you work hard, eventually you will be recognized for your hard work and passion. And also, never be afraid to try new things. Go out of your comfort zone. You may not know this, this is my first ever speech in my life, and it took me long enough to prepare. Unlike Mandarin, English is not my first language. So when I first invited to TEDx, I was so nervous. But here I am, almost finishing my first TEDx session with all of you. It may not be a perfect one, but certainly it is a courageous one by me. Even it might turn out to be a nightmare, so we did, I thought. Because life is always full with success and nightmare. <laughs> So my dear friends, if I could leave one or two messages with you, this would be it. Have the courage to try new things. Go out of your comfort zone. Go after what you're passionate about. Take risks, work hard, and have no regrets. You will never know what treasure you will find if you do follow your passion and live courageously. Thank you.